All right, you guys, welcome another Sunday night. Sean and Michelle Poe here, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Uh, also going to have the guest speaker, Dr. John Jelinek, out of North Dakota on tonight. Super excited for the webinar. Uh, we're going to get into some of the basics of the business, uh, one of the steps, the fundamental building blocks. And then we're also going to uh, have Dr. John come on and talk about Nerf One. So super excited to hear uh, John give you guys some information, some nuts and bolts on the product as well as as we uh, talk about this business but um, you know Michelle and I we started this business about six years ago a little over six years ago and one of the things that I love about network marketing is you don't have to <coughs> excuse me you don't have to have any knowledge base of network marketing to get started and have success in this business it's, it's really you know finding a company that has uh, a system in place that's been proven to work um, and then utilizing that system doing what other people have already shown uh, to be successful to have success yourself and that's really what we did is uh, we watched people like Carrie Dickey and Stu Brody, uh, uh, Carrie Williams and Maria Williams and what they were doing um, and we just followed suit and one of the things that uh, is fundamental with this business especially early on as you get started is coming up with your database. Who are you going to share these products with and, and that was really kind of our first um, uh, aspect of we don't know what we're doing so teach us on what we need to do to create this database because some people were popping into our head right we saw that ABC primetime video and it was an absolute no-brainer because of certain health reasons that we wanted to get uh, the product Nerf 2 Protanum into people's bodies to see what it could do uh, for them. Um, but, you know, as these product lines have, have increased, um, there, there's different reasons. You know, as we learned more about the business side of network marketing, there, there were many various reasons that we could contact people to get the information in front of them. And this is not a sales business, you guys. This is a person-to-person -person business where you're trying to make it about them. You're finding the people in your lives who have a pain and you're filling that pain with a solution. And it all starts honestly with the database. So here's how I would database if I was you. Uh, and you, some of you are new to the business, so this will be, you know, kind of the first time going through this, but a lot of you on the webinar tonight, you've already created your database, and maybe it's time to kind of reset that database um, and, and, and start from scratch and just kind of uh, do things over again because you might be at a point where your business is stuck or stagnant or not growing as fast as you would like it to grow. So what I would suggest that people do is, first of all, Start writing down as many names as possible. And when you bring in a new distributor and you're sitting down training them and, and having them do the same thing with their database, I think it's important that you do this with, with them. Uh, don't tell them what to do and provide the tools and then just tell them to, to go away and do it, right? Um, chances are that eight eight or nine out of ten people if you if you build your business like that they're gonna come back and they're not gonna have you know done what they were supposed to do so I would sit down with a new distributor um, and, and go through this with them and maybe you're writing the names down for them and just start with having them write down anybody that pops into their mind now the problem with this is gonna be that they'll probably run out of names uh, a minute minute and a half two minutes into uh, this activity they're gonna write down maybe 15 20 names and, and think that that's their database and, and the fact of the matter is is that's just the start and oftentimes people they're they're gonna you know think a, of a few people but if you pulled open their phone contact list is their contact list only 15 to 20 people absolutely not and in order to have success with this business you've really got to take advantage of truly creating a large database now your database is, is a living uh, document it's, it's not gonna just be a one-time event that you write people's names down and that's it you know what I would suggest that you do is every single day try to add at least one to two names on your database and your database never goes away we hear all the time people saying well there's nobody left on my database well it, it, the only time that anybody should be removed from your database is if they signed up to be a distributor in your business right because it, it takes sometimes five six seven eight eight exposures 
for somebody to join the business. I was actually um, on the phone right before this webinar with a friend of ours out, out in Wyoming, and we were talking with a, another college friend uh, that honestly, uh, Michelle and I, we've been talking to them for the last five, six years. And if we wouldn't have continued to follow up or we said that our database was, was gone um, and, and they were no longer you know, somebody that, that would consider doing this business, there's no way that we would be at the point now where they're ready to sign up. Um, we asked, asked her on a scale of one to 10, where are you at with wanting to do this business? And her, her response was 9.9. .9. She's ready to go. And, and so don't think of your, of your database as, as ever going away. It doesn't. So if somebody, you know, becomes a customer, can you still reach out to them and, and let them know the new things that are coming into our business and share with them, you know, different things that have happened or you go to an elite academy or a global convention coming back with excitement, new changes what's going on or a new product comes out or, or something just changes in their life where they're at a different uh, point today or a different chapter in their life than they were years ago. As long as your database is maintained, you'll always be able to reconnect with these people. And, and one of the biggest things about your database, you guys, is that you've got to treat it as one of the most valuable assets within your business, right? And so the relationship of the people on your database is more important, honestly, than them ever being a customer or a distributor in your organization. Because if you start to ruin those relationships on trying to get the information in front of them, then they are gonna no longer be a, a viable option for you down the road to get them as a customer or distributor. So treat people with respect. Uh, know that your database is not gonna shrink. It's only gonna continue to grow as you put more and more people onto your database. Okay, now, like I said, if you're sitting down with a new distributor, they'll probably get stuck about 60 seconds, you know, two minutes into this exercise. So then what you're going to have to do with them is get into what we call the memory jogger. You're going to have to um, ask them, you know, who, who do they know within their family that is not on the list? You know, let's talk about parents. Are your parents on there? Your in-laws, uh, let's say, you know, your grandparents or ch children, grown children, brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, nieces and nephews, cousins. If, if you're asking them these questions and doing this with them, they're going to have a much larger list. And the great thing about having a larger list is this, unless you're coming into this as a professional network marketer, you're probably not going to do the best job inviting the first few people to see the information, to see what we have our hands on. And if you have a list of 20 people in the first 18, you don't do a great job and they're not interested, is it going to be pretty daunting to try to build a business where you want it to be built when there's only two people that you think are left on your database. Whereas if you had a list of let's say 150 or 200 people and the first 18 told you no, it really isn't a big deal because you still have, you know, if you had a list of 200, you'd still have 180 people that you still need to contact for the first time. And then you can go back and start to clean it up. So really take advantage of this memory jogger. Um, you know, who, who's in your current address books? Uh, who did you send Christmas cards to last year? Who sent you a Christmas card? Uh, who, who do you have that you have their email address or their cell phone numbers? Uh, uh, who who uh, were the parents of the, the uh your child's class, you know, what are the parents that, that your kids have athletics with, with somebody else's child, your friends and your neighbors? Uh, maybe, you know, who do you go to church with? Who did you go to college with? Who did you go to high school with? Things like that. You've really, really got to get them to think outside of the box and maybe throw four or five of these out there. Let them throw out some more names and then you go to the next couple. You know, who, who does uh, your mechanic work? Who's your accountant, your banker, your, your babysitter, your car dealer, dentist? optometrist things like that you know if your computer was gonna break down who would you be calling do you have people for that that offer services for you that you haven't thought of yet um, so ultimately you're trying to get as many people down on that database as possible and again you're doing this with them you're not just giving them the information and telling them to go out and do it on their own now what I would challenge you guys to do is not stop there don't stop with just writing down a list of a lot of people's names because if you have a list of 200 people um, it's kind of like, what do you do with it next? How do you turn that into an invite? So what I would say is the easiest way to help you then transfer your database into an invite list is to put a second column right next to their name. You've got their name. Then right next to it, put another column that says why. Why did you think of these people? 
You know, was it a health reason? Are they sick? Are they going through something? Have they dealt with something in the past? Um, maybe family members of theirs have been sick, things like that on the health side. Or maybe it's on, on the business side, you know, that they hate their job or it's Sunday night and you know that they're not looking forward to going to work on Monday morning. Or uh, maybe they have been great at business all their life and they're, they're um, just really, really entrepreneurial. Uh, they love to help other people. So right next down, down to every single name that's on your database, why you're thinking of that person in regards to life antigen, Protanum, or Axio, Physique, uh, all, all of our product lines and the company itself. Now, you're going to have some people that you absolutely have no idea why you wrote their name down. And for these people, what I would suggest that you do is don't contact them right away about the business. Contact them to reconnect so that you can talk with them, have conversations, catch up, get to know them again. And I promise you this, if you ask them enough questions and get them to talk, they're going to say something that you can fill in that blank with. And that's ultimately what we want to do with the database as we use it as an invite list is to find reasons that we can help them in their life, make it about them and why they should hear the information, how you have a solution to what they're going through in life and, and, and they've got to see something that you know about. You have information that they absolutely are going to want to see. If we make it about ourselves, it's going to be a very, very challenging business because people then feel like they're being sold or, or you know, it, it's, you know, about you and not about them. You're not trying to help them. So as much as possible, really get that why part of the database down. And, and I'll tell you, you know, if you feel stuck or stagnant going through this exercise again and not looking at your old database, maybe you're creating a brand new database and then compare the two and, and see who you didn't have on there. But don't prejudge anybody. Put everybody's names down. You know, your pasture and their wife, uh, real estate agents, florists. Uh, people that, you know, deliver things to you, FedEx and UPS, if you know their names, just write down every single person's name. Think about all the people that you don't like, all the people that you like, all the people that you would love to have in your business. Just get creative with anything that can, that can put another name into your business and keep the list, you know, with you or have, have the ability to write down people's names throughout the day as they pop into your head. Oh my gosh, I didn't think about this person. I need to get them out of my database. And you're continuing to add to the database every single day one to two people early on in your business because that's going to give you the ability to share this with more people and know who you need to talk to. Michelle was amazing our first year in the business of really sitting down at the end of every night and taking the database and finding two people that she was no matter what going to talk to the next day or at least attempt to talk to them before she closed out the end of the next day. And so she would just take the database and really uh, thoughtfully plot out, okay, here's two more people that I need to contact contact in the next 24 hours or I'm not doing my part uh, of exposing this business. And if you can make it simple, if you can make it easy, people are much more likely to put the time and the energy into it to get the results that they're looking for. So don't take the database lightly. Take this as, like I said at the very beginning, as one of your most valuable assets in uh, your life managed business. Because without your database, it's going to be pretty hard to know who you need to actively talk to um, on a daily basis. Um, uh, and also, who to follow up with, right? Because we know, again, statistically, most people don't make a, a decision within the first couple of times that they hear information. It takes five, six, seven times where the majority of, of yeses come into play. And go back to this database. If you, if you have a list of 200 people and you're contacting uh, one to two people every day, you're talking at least 100 days to 200 days before you've gone through your database one time. And then you're starting to circle back through, talk with the people that you've added to the list since, and then talking with the people a second time and getting them a second exposure uh, in, into the information, following up with them once again. You can take your database and, and put it into a recipe card box. I loved uh, Michelle's idea when we first got going. Uh, she put a recipe card box and, and split it into 12 different segments with the, the months of the year. And so she might talk to, let's say, 
40 people in the month of January and it wasn't appropriate to follow up with them necessarily in a couple days or a week. It was a month or two months out. So she might put that name that she first talked to and put them into February or she might put that recipe card that has somebody's name on it and say, yeah, we talked about it. They're super busy. You know, things are, are going to settle down a little bit in March. They asked me to get a hold of them in March and putting good notes on that card so she knows when to follow up properly with them. And, and, and taking that um, you know, example of writing the why down, uh, as I finish this up, I want to give you a couple different examples of what I'm talking about. So let's say you know, I, I went to college with a friend of mine named Bob, and Bob, his entire life, he has always had uh, great success with business. He's super entrepreneurial, and everything that he touches turns to gold. So right next to Bob's name, I might put you know, uh, entrepreneurial, everything turns to gold. Right underneath Bob's Bob, let's say I, I have Amy and Amy, you know, I've known her since college as well. And it seems like everybody in Amy's family, ever since I've known her in college, it seems like the people that I've met that have been family members, if they're above the age of 40, they've had some sort of heart disease uh, uh, affect them. And so next to Amy, I'm writing down heart disease. And then when I'm looking to take this database into the invite, that's exactly what I'm looking about. So, so you know, for that first example, Bob and, and everything turns to gold, I'm saying, hey, Bob, there's this ABC primetime video. You got to check it out. You've always been entrepreneurial and, and everything you touch, it seems, turns to gold. You're going to be blown away by this video. Um, or uh, with Amy, you know, in heart disease, I'm calling Amy up and say, hey, Amy, you know, I've known you since college and it seems like everybody that I've met in your family, by the time that they're 40, heart disease has affected them pretty dramatically. There's this ABC primetime video, you got to check it out, it's going to blow you away. And again, that helps you make it not about you, but about them and that you have something for them to see that's going to drastically impact their life. So um, I could go on and on. This is normally a topic uh, at Life Advantage Academies I talk on for a good uh, 30 minutes. Uh, so you got the abridged version tonight, but I want to leave time for uh, Dr. J John Jelinek. Dr. John Jelinek, we've gotten to know him and his wife uh, pretty well over the last several months. We, we've had the opportunity to go on two of the company incentive trips uh, with these two, and they are absolutely blowing it up um, with the passion and the excitement and the vision that they have for what they're going to do um, over the next four or five years. It, it's it's fun to find people like this. And, and the thing that I love about, you know, people like Dr. John with chiropractors is they truly understand oxidative stress and inflammation. They get it. They see it on a daily basis. It's part of, of their everyday routine. So um, I'll, I'll turn it over to Dr. John. He's going to uh, bring us up to speed on uh, NERF-1 and kind of his thoughts on uh, Protanum NRF-1. So John, uh, let me, uh, you should you be, in, you're ready to go. Yep, you can hear me. All right. Sorry, I don't have notes for anybody. I want to clarify one thing and thanks, Sean, for the introduction. Um, that is not a shine off my forehead above me. That is actually a halo. So just so everybody, we get that clarified. I can't, I'm going to have to get a new light in my office here. But um, so I got a couple things. Uh, we're going to talk about Nerf One today. And I guess the first thing I'm going to throw out there, because I'm going to make Stu happy, I'm going to throw out the disclaimer. You know, everything I'm going to say with the information is not intended to treat, prevent, cure, or mitigate disease. Now, with that, with Sean talking about uh, the database, I think the, right off the bat, I'm going to ask a question, and I think a lot of you um, are going to start thinking of people right away, uh, because I know you're going to know people, but uh, this question doesn't have to be answered, but just think about it. Who do you know, and what do these conditions and diseases have in common? What, uh, what does autism, muscular dystrophy, atypical learning disabilities, developmental delay, chronic fatigue, diabetes, fibromyalgia, epilepsy, neurodegenerative disorders such as ALS, Huntington's, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, you know, what do they all have in common? Um, the easy answer is mitochondrial dysfunction. And so when we start talking about NERF-1, this is really important. Um, just a couple terms right off the bat, uh, you know, I want to talk about mitochondria because I can talk about NERF-2, I get really excited and you're going to hear me start talking faster. Um, and that's when my wife usually tells me to slow down. So, um, you know, mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. This is where the energy production occurs. The energy is the uh, ATP, uh, adenosine triphosphate. And you're going to see some of these terms on the bottle. Uh, with uh, the mitochondria, this is producing 95% of your energy that your body uses. So it's really important. Now, when you tell, in, in my case, when I tell patients about this, 
I usually by now get a blank stare and they're like, what's, what are you talking about? You know, mitochondria, what, you know, they don't understand. And so I like to simplify things. I'm a very simple person. And so I like to just explain it, you know, like this, uh, think of the engine of the car, you know, that's, that's the mitochondria, right? And the gas is the ATP, that's the energy. And so the more energy, the more gas you give the engine, what, what's going to happen? You know, that, that engine is going to start working faster. It's going to be more powerful and that car is going to go uh, down the road in a hurry. Right. And so that's what that mitochondria is doing. It's, it's giving you a lot of, a lot of power. Um, and when your mitochondria breaks down over time and as you age and as you increase your oxidative stress, um, you have less efficient mitochondria and you reduce the production of your energy, the ATP. So again, um, I relate a lot of things to a car and a, and a shop in my practice. You know, think of that like a rusty engine, right? Now we want to try to prevent that as much as we can. And so, you know, how do you boost your mitochondrial uh, function? And that's where, you know, NRF1 comes in. And NRF1 contains uh, five basic ingredients, rhodiola, rosea, which increases the resistance to fatigue, coenzyme Q10, and this is important in the production of the ATP or the energy. And when you combine that with the alpha lipoic acid, this supports cellular energy levels, the stress response, and antioxidants defense mechanisms. So they kind of work together as one. Uh, that alpha lipoic acid also turns glucose into energy. Quercetin promotes mitochondrial reproduction and helps prevent mitochondrial decay, right? So think of decaying of the teeth, uh, decaying of the spine, you know, it's preventing that. Grape extract, that's the other uh, ingredient which has anti-aging capabilities. So these work together, similar to NRF2, synergistically as you put them together. Now with NRF2, you're uh, telling that protein uh, with the NRF2 pathway to uh, activate your body's own antioxidant enzymes. And with NRF1, we're activating that NRF1 protein to support what's called mitochondrial biogenesis. So you're creating powerful, large mitochondria, okay? And so when you boost your mitochondria production, this improves your body's ability to repair itself. You improve your quality of sleep. Uh, you improve your cognitive health. You support your brain function, supports muscle function, and maintains heart health. So, uh, you know, right now it's, it's really important. And I'm glad I get to talk about NERF-1 because I'm learning a lot with this as well. I have a lot to say with NERF-2, but NERF-1, as you go through this and as you guys are kind of your own little researcher, and I encourage everybody to look into this, you're going to find a lot of great things that mitochondria does. The other thing that it does is it uh, increases your ATP. Remember, that's the energy. So the more energy you have, that'll bring all the energy to the cells and the vital cells, uh, vital organs, you know, the heart and helps with brain function. Um, so when I rattle some of that stuff off, you know, is it important to, uh, is it important to take an NRF1? Of course it is. You know, I, a lot of my patients, I, I combine it with the NRF2. The one thing when you combine it with NRF2 and you take them together, you don't take NRF1 separate because the energy production, the ATP production by the mitochondria produces more free radicals and oxidative stress. So you're taking the NRF1 as a companion product with the NRF2. Now, the most common things that I get, and I have a neighbor down the street who's been on both of these, and you know, he first said, you know, boy, I'm awake, I'm sleeping better at night. When I get up, when my alarm goes off in the morning, I get right up. I don't hit snooze 500 times. Uh, a lot of the mental clarity uh, people are noticing with taking both of them. Um, and so uh, when you look up NERF-1, NERF-1 you can actually find on uh, pubmed.gov. And you can look up some of the studies on that. Now with, uh, with Protandum Nerf 1, we don't have a lot of studies uh, yet to, on PubMed. That'll come in the future, I'm sure. But you know, I'd encourage everybody to, uh, to kind of dig into this a little bit, look up mitochondria. Some of this is hard to, uh, to understand, but you know, you're gonna learn the basics of what it does and how important it is and how we are kind of on the forefront of this um, compared to anyone else. And when you're combining this with the Nerf 2, you know, it's unstoppable and we're going to help uh, hopefully prevent uh, a lot of the aging processes as, as we get older. And so it's, it's, it's really important. Uh, one other thing, you know, I was looking up, um, everybody always asks when to take Nerf-1. I always, uh, you know, you can do it a couple different ways. Um, Nerf-1 should be taken 30 minutes before you would take your Nerf-2 and you want to take your Nerf-1 without, uh, without a meal. Um, the other thing is if you're on any thyroid meds, I would t I choose to take that at a, your Nerf-1 at a different time. Um, and then, like I said, 30 minutes later, you can take your Nerf-2. 
Now, everybody does that a little differently. Some people, um, family members included, have a hard time of remembering when to take pills. So I just say, you know, take them all at once. If you, if you can't remember, as long as you're getting them in your, in your body. Even Dr. Fifi, we had that question at one of our doctor's seminars with her. And she said, you know what, if, if you can't remember, take it as long as you're getting in your body. Um, I take my Nerf one at night. Uh, now, this is personal preference. Everybody can do what they, what they choose. Uh, but what I found when I take mine at night is that I sleep better and I wake up faster um, unless I'm on an incentive trip with a bunch of elites and then I have to sleep in longer. So, um, and I'm not going to go into those stories. But, you, you know, um, dig into Nerf One. It's, it's, uh, it's good stuff. There's a lot of great, uh, uh, great details and, and great stuff on, on quality websites, scholar.google, um, PubMed, you can find Nerf One, but Protanum Nerf One, we are, we are ahead of the game, Sean. We, we got something that uh, is, is going to, I think, uh, be huge, huge in the, in the future. I love it. I love it. Yeah, and absolutely. I, th I think that, you know, when we looked at ProTandem NRF2 six years ago, when we were uh, first looking at this business, um, that's kind of where the science was and just the knowledge base on how important of a pathway NRF2 was. Um, that's really where we are at the tip of the iceberg for NRF1 currently. So I think we are going to see tons more science come out and just validate what we already know we have our hands on. And let's be honest, who isn't looking for um, more energy, you know, and, and that's the key to uh, mitochondria. If, if, you know, coming from a finance guy, if I remember anything from those classes I had in, in high school and college, you know, the powerhouse of the cells, uh, you want them to be healthy and, and back in, into um, kind, of, kind of the function that they were when we were younger, right? All right. Yep. Awesome. Well, we appreciate your time and your knowledge, Dr. John. Uh, if there is anything that we can do to help, I cannot believe that we are already looking towards uh, more of the end of uh, May than we are the beginning. Uh, pretty soon the year is going to be halfway done. But I'm telling you this is, is we've got our hands on some pretty powerful uh, products in, in this company and, and the ability to change people's health um, is absolutely, I, I think, what separates us out from every other company that's out there. We just, we have such important products um, and getting them into people's bodies is, is where you're going to see that change. And now with the Essentials Pack, where you can get Protanum NRF1, Protanum NRF2, and the Pro biotic into people's bodies. They get free shipping for having that pack picked. Um, there, there's no reason that we shouldn't get this, uh, this product line um, or those three products, the essentials pack into every single one of our customers' bodies, uh, into all of our distributors' bodies and, and really see how we can impact uh, people's health on a major way. So with that, uh, we want to be respectful of everybody's time. Hey, I know- Sean. Yeah, go ahead. One last thing, since you're talking about the essential pack, you know, it's essential for a reason, right? That's why they came up with the name essential pack. Yes. It's essential that everybody takes it, all three of those products. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, I, I think just as strongly as of Axio as I do with those other three, um, but for sure at, at a starting block, that's what people need to get on. This is about, you know, getting your body back doing what it was designed to do. And, and the body has an amazing uh, ability to help itself and function, function in a proper way when we get some of those stressors off of the body. So um, as opposed to turning to uh, drugs, um, we have an all natural way to help people really get their body back in balance and do what it was supposed to do. So with that, uh, let's call this one a wrap. Appreciate everybody's time and uh, we will get this recording out as soon as possible. Have a great week and let us know how we can help you end this month strong. Take care. Thanks, John.